What is an Australian Labradoodle? This is a mixed dog breed. It was developed from Labradors, Poodles, English, and American Cocker Spaniels, Curly-Coated Retrievers, and Irish Water Spaniels. The aim of the Australian Labradoodle is to produce a new purebred with its own breed standard. And with more predictable traits than a first-generation Labrador Poodle cross. So let's take a look at what you can expect from this mix. And how different it is to other types of Labradoodle. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. The secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Doodle dogs seem to be everywhere these days. Poodle crosses are increasingly popular. You've probably heard of the Labrador Poodle Cross known as the Labradoodle. But maybe you haven't come across the Australian Labradoodle. This is a similar, yet uniquely different, dog. No dog breed is truly hypoallergenic. But the curly coat of the poodle does catch some of the loose hairs and dander that are responsible for allergies. So, for some people, that means fewer allergies. Within a few years, the Labradoodle became extremely popular. In Australia and around the world. Australian Labradoodle vs Labradoodle Contrary to popular belief, a Labradoodle born down under does not automatically qualify as an Australian Labradoodle. In fact, there are significant differences between the Labradoodle and Australian Labradoodle. Labradoodles have one Labrador parent and one Poodle parent. These first-generation Labradoodles are referred to as F1. And from those we get second generation, F2, and so on. Australian Labradoodle Size Australian Labradoodles full-grown can reach around 24 inches tall and weigh about 77 pounds. This will be slightly more for males on average than for females. Coats and Colors They can have one of two coat types. Either fleece textured or wool textured. They are often described as teddy bear-like. And this certainly adds to their appeal. Fleece textured coats are soft and either straight or wavy. They can also have spiral shaped curls. Wool textured coats feel, you guessed it, like wool. And they're usually curly. There are loads of different Australian Labradoodle colors. Some of the most popular include Black Red White Apricot Caramel Party Grooming your Australian Labradoodle Whether your Australian Labradoodle has a fleece or wool textured coat, they will need regular brushing. Usually around once a week. You might find it useful to enlist a professional groomer. They can trim your pup's coat two or three times a year. When grooming, be sure to check your pup, s eyes and ears. It's important to keep their nails trimmed, too. If in doubt, speak to your dog's vet and or groomer. They can offer specific advice on your pup's coat and nails. Australian Labradoodle Temperament Australian Labradoodles are gentle, loyal, and sociable. They are not aggressive and are very good with children. Plus, they are intelligent and quick to learn. In fact, they are widely used as therapy and service dogs. Mainly because they're so universally friendly, gentle, and easy to train. Naturally playful, they enjoy time with their human families. But they should not be left alone or in crates for too long. Also, Australian Labradoodles are active dogs. They need a large amount of daily activity. At least 30 to 60 minutes is ideal. Training your Australian Labradoodle Australian Labradoodles are often described as born to serve. This means that they're naturally quick to learn. And as a result, relatively easy to train. But, it's very important to begin training and socialization early in your puppy's life. Socialization can have a huge impact on your puppy's development. And puppies that are socialized early are less likely to display behavioral problems later on. Research shows that positive, 
rewards-based training is more effective than punishment-based training. In fact, punishments negatively affect behavior. But rewards-based training actually improves your dog's ability to learn. When using rewards to train your pup, make sure you include any edible treats as part of your pup's daily food allowance. This will help prevent weight problems. Australian Labradoodle Health The limited gene pools of purebreds can cause a number of health-related issues. This is due to years of inbreeding. But, this doesn't mean mixed breeds are entirely free from the same inherited conditions. They may still inherit certain health conditions from either parent. So, if you're considering an Australian Labradoodle, you should be aware of the potential health concerns. These health problems include hip and elbow dysplasia, eye issues and von Willebrand's disease. Feeding your Australian Labradoodle As with any dog, it's important to give your Australian Labradoodle high-quality dog food. Be sure to check the recommended portion sizes. They are usually listed on the packaging. Letting your dog become overweight could lead to health problems. So, go easy on the treats. Is the Australian Labradoodle a good family dog? Australian Labradoodles make fantastic family dogs. As a gentle breed, they are great with children and other pets. They're very friendly and sociable. Plus, they love spending time with their human families. They learn quickly. So if you start training and socialization early, you're almost certain to have a people-pleasing pup. Australian Labradoodle Breeders When you are looking for a breeder it's important to trust your instincts. The mother should know the owner well and respond to her name and they should have a strong bond. She should have a purpose in life beyond making puppies. Good breeders ask their clients lots of questions and expect a lot in return. They are happy to show you all the relevant paperwork for health tests and should have a good knowledge of the history of their breed. Australian Labradoodle price varies a lot, but you will be looking at anywhere from $1,000 or more. Be wary of puppies that seem too good value for money. An Australian Labradoodle is a great fit if you have children or other pets. Or if you're looking simply for a gentle companion that gets along with anyone. They tend to be calmer than the standard Labradoodle. Plus, they're quick learners. Early socialization and consistent rewards-based training will help your Australian Labradoodle become a great people-pleaser. These pups don't like being left alone or in a crate for long periods of time. This pup is better off in a home with a securely fenced outdoor space. An apartment is not ideal. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.